Today we're going to be looking at how to use a quadrat. And a quadrat is a metre by metre square that is used to measure the amount of a species in an area. So we're just going to assemble it now. And quadrats can be done using random sampling or a transect, which is like a long line which you can measure quadrats along. So I'm just going to set it up now. Mm -hmm. It's really simple to set up. Okay, so this quadrat's quite unusual because it uses a camera to take a picture of the um, ground where you're looking and this means that it's much faster to take readings, reading samples because you can just look at the pictures afterwards instead of hanging around counting the species that you're looking for. So you just set it up like that and then switch on the camera you should get a view of the quadrat from here you could just take a picture Ooh. and it's really useful for if there's a big class of students and you, you're in a rush in your class and you just want one person to go out quickly, do a, like a belt transect and then bring the recordings back so everyone can use them and they can all look at the same readings. So now we're gonna do a belt transect along this stretch of grass. Placing it carefully so that it moves just one metre on each time. And as you can see, it's just really convenient and fast. If there are any plants that are on the edges of the quadrat, we don't count them if they're on the outside. 
because otherwise when we move the quadrat along we might count them twice and then our readings would be slightly off and it wouldn't be as good of an estimate. Okay, so now we've got our photographs from our quadrats. We're going to put them up on the screen here and we're going to start looking at the different species in the photograph. So I've got one up here and I'm going to start circling the num like the different species so I can count them. So I'm going to start circling the dandelions for example in yellow. And there's one here. Mm -hmm. This just makes it easier to count the data and then put it into a table, which I'll show you in a minute. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to count the daisies in a red pen. Remembering to count each plant rather than an individual leaf or flower because then you'll get inaccurate results. Mm. What's also important to think about is that um, on the edges of the quadrat sometimes the plants are sort of half in the quadrat so it's difficult to know to count them or not and so I tend to count the anything that's touching the left hand side and the bottom of the quadrat and therefore when you move the quadrat along you're only counting each plant once if that makes sense so for example here the daisy is sort of touching the left hand side of the quadrat and I'm going to count it here and then we're just going to count the yellow in blue quite a lot of that one okay and then once I've done that and I've circled all the species that I'm counting, um, I'm going to pop onto this Excel spreadsheet where I've created a table of each transect photograph and then I'm just recording the number of each species that I'm looking at in the table. So for dandelions there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and I'm just going to put 6 into the table, it's really simple and then Daisies one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then yellow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go, now I can compare all my results and just carry on down the table with each photograph. Once you've circled all of your species, written them down in the table, you can take a screenshot of this picture with all the markings on it and then zoom in just to check that you haven't missed any of the plant species. This means that your recording is more accurate because you've got the photo right here just to check in as much detail as you want. You can see here I've missed a yarrow and I can just correct my data. I can get other people to look at it because they might have a different opinion about what's an individual plant, which is great for getting good readings. And then if I go back onto my Excel, I've made a quick graph of the results here and it really easily allows me to see trends of different numbers of each organism. So for example, the dandelion, as I went through the belt transect, the dandelion numbers increased whereas the yellow yarrow numbers decreased and you can see that really clearly here you can change the colors of all the bars to make them more easily distinguished between and you can also as i've done here get the numbers on the actual bars and then you can really easily look at the data and compare between each transect and so that's really convenient and that is how you use a quadrat and how you look at the data recorded. 
hope to see you in our next video.